Hello everyone. So for today I figured I would go ahead and um, do a quick video on the cabinet of Barbies and other 11 and a half inch uh, fashion dolls that we have. So this is the the main Barbie cabinet. This is not all of them. This is the, certainly the majority of them. Um, almost everyone here is vintage. There's a few um, modern ones, a few clones, and there's a couple of um, antique and wooden dolls that have snuck in here as well. So um, what I'll do is I'll just kind of uh, open the cabinet and you know show you the shelves and um, point out some of my favorites. All right, so I was really delighted to get this cabinet. Um, we found it on um, Facebook Marketplace for $75 and we were, we were really thrilled because it's big enough for, for most of them and it's lighted. So uh, the top shelf, these are the Mod Barbies. Mostly we've got some 2Ds, there's Francie. A um, couple of, you know, my, my fa favorites are the uh, red-headed twist and turn Barbie that I picked up when I was in Japan at um, the Mandareki shop. Um, some of our 2Ds. Um, I actually got the little 2D in pink when I was about eight years old back uh, before eBay when you had to send away, away a self-addressed stamped envelope and they sent you a list and I saved up my eight dollars and my, my mom wrote a check and sent her off and, and eventually she arrived but I was I was really thrilled because that was was back before uh, before it was easy to find them like it is now. All right so my um, older more uh, vintage Barbies are on the second shelf uh, my my lovely number three, who's got uh, quite the haircut. At some point, I'll get her rerouted. And then I've got a number four back here, and my American girl. And then my my cream of my collection is the seven and a half inch build Lily. Uh, I actually found her at an antique store for only thirty five dollars, which is incredible. I still you know never quite matched that find. Um, this is one of the bubble cuts that I had to. See if I get the lighting a little bit better on her. I had to, to repaint her face because she was missing most of her lips and her eyebrows. All right, and then the next shelf down here, there's Bill Lily's little poodle, is uh, mostly um, more modern dolls. Most of them have been uh, rebodied on articulated uh, bodies. So I've got, you know, of course, some some GI Joe action men. Uh, there's well, there's Cher hanging out. Um, this is my my one and only Integrity Toys doll. She's the one of the uh, the dynamite dolls, and then got a couple others. Um, these two are ones that I've repainted myself, and then back there is one of the the black um, little black dress fashion models. Uh, I've rebodied her on a on a articulated body. Todd's hiding back there with the cats. All right, so so that's that side from top to bottom. All right, moving over now to the next side. All right, so we have a lot of skippers and kins and allens regulated to this side of the, the cabinet. And as you can see, nobody is, is, is um, following social um, distancing protocols. We're all really packed in here. And the next shelf, I've got um, my, my, my various Dawn dolls. I used to have a much larger collection, but I, I downsized significantly um, over the years. So these are the ones that I've got left. Um, then we have a lot of different um, Barbie clones. Um, there is a my, my one and only Unita Miss Suzette. I've got Mitzi in the back there. And then this lovely lady here, she is a creation by um, uh, Julian Kalinowski. Very beautiful. He's um, an artist out of the UK. And I've got, you know, we've got Midge, and this is a, um, a PJ that I redid um, slightly, changed her hair and gave her freckles to sort of imagine her if, as if she were uh, a more mod Midge. And then uh, down here on the last shelf, we've got more Skippers, uh, Ricky, Scooter, uh, and then in, uh, the back there, the mermaid and the, the, the obviously naked doll in the back. Those are some um, sculptures that I did. Uh, probably about 15 years ago or so with um, polymer clay and my my beautiful reproduction uh, French brew she's you know obviously never going to afford one in real life so reproduction was was how I went there <laughs> um, another antique doll that I've, I've picked up at a, a thrift store somewhere and then finally the last two 
Uh, these are both little wooden dolls. They're both made by me. Um, the, 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 the bigger one I think I made when I was seven with help from my dad who helped me cut her out of some plywood and nail her together. And of course you can see my, my wonderful paint job. And then this one over here, uh, I carved her about 10 years ago. And she is uh, influenced from the, the book Hitty, the little uh, wooden carved doll. And then this little guy down here, I'll bring him out. He's, he's pretty, pretty amazing. He is a little uh, celluloid doll. He is really delightful. I need to, to get some, some nice photos with him sometime. But he's, he's pretty little, so he's just down there protected in his little case. All right, so that is uh, the Barbie ca case, and I'll try to get it a little bit more in focus here. And, yep, so there we are. And, you know, if there's anybody that you're really interested in the comments you'd like to see uh, more photos of, I'd be happy to, to post them in the future, so uh, definitely let me know. All right, everyone, uh, stay safe, stay well quarantined, and I'll talk to you again soon.